South Carolina at Lake Hartwell, and we were fishing the ACA this week. Just one regular season major event remains before the year-end championship. Stop three on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series takes us to Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina for the Hartwell Slam. Got him. Yeah. It's the spring of the year, and the bass are spread out across the lake in high percentage areas. Over 400 of the top college anglers in the nation are prepared to catch tons of Lake Hartwell bass. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I have bottle. <laughs> Good grief, I've never seen a belly like that before. On the line this week, anglers are competing for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies. Double points to count toward the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia and automatic qualification into the national championship. We have a new leader right here, 1887. Goes 1956. That's going to take over first place right there. New leaders. Who can set themselves up here on day one to make a run at the tournament title on the final day? Find out next. Give the boat Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 2496. The University of Montevallo wins its third straight title. Welcome in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. This stop on the prestigious no entry fee nationally televised tournament trail takes us to Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina for the Hartwell Slam. We're here at Hartwell. Uh, we've been, you know, mixing the things up. The weather's been really great this week aside from the wind, so we've been mixing it up when we can on the main lake and fishing in some creeks for large mountain spots. Lake Hartwell is a vast, diverse fishery that allows anglers to spread out and fish their strengths. Weather has impacted the area throughout the week, bringing with it wind and rain at times. This field of over 400 elite anglers will be looking to play the conditions to their advantage to land a bounty of quality largemouth and spotted bass. Game plan is hopefully to get on a little bit of a morning bite with some spotted bass on some shoals, on some high spots, and then move up shallow and look at the largemouth and see if we can catch them on beds and sight fishing. Uh, we're going to mix it up tomorrow. we got a few largemouth we're playing with and a few spotted bass as well. So we're just going to point the boat in the wind tomorrow and uh, whatever's biting the best, we're going to roll with it and keep on chugging. On the line this week, anglers will be competing for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies. Teams are also vying for double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The Hartwell Slam is the final ACA double points event on the schedule before the Triple Points Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops to conclude the season. This weekend's event will have a huge impact on who wins the title as well as finishes the season inside of the coveted top 25. We're sitting in third right now and that's really exciting. It's the highest we've been as a program, but we've got a really great group of guys that are all really, really dedicated. So it's, you know, it's a really group, good great group, group of guys and everyone just kind of takes turn doing the lifting, you know. Everyone's really hungry for it. Going into this one, we're second place in school of the year right now, so we're feeling we're feeling good. We feel like we're in striking distance to win to win another school of the year. So our goal is just to come out here this weekend, get as many points as we can, and see if we can get ourselves back in that top spot for school of the year. We're in number one going into this event, so um, man, you know that'll be a program record for us. We haven't won it yet, school of the year, so it'll be huge if we could pull that out. You know. All these guys on our team, they're my absolute best friends, man. That's been our goal from day one. Uh, since I got here, this is my third year. We've we've got consistently better every year. So, man, to win it would mean everything to us. That would that would be awesome to bring it back to Jefferson City. Time now for our first break in the show. Coming up next, we go out onto Lake Hartwell to bring you day one coverage of the Hartwell Slam. Keep it tuned right here to see some of the top college anglers in the nation land some quality bass. Are you looking for more coverage and content from the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series? Subscribe to our YouTube channel for extended clips, sensational shorts, product content featuring series partners, and much more. Just scan this QR code to subscribe and stay up to date on all things college fishing.
Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. We begin our on-the-water coverage from day one of the Hartwell Slam with top-ranked Carson Newman University. Riley Faulkner and Shimon Python are hooked up with their first keeper fish of the day. Got him. Watch out. Just get him in. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't let him get back in the way. That was right there. It was ruffled right there. <laughs> number one, number one. Uh, we caught a couple fish right in here in practice, and it's always been good, you know. Always, every time we're here, we always catch a couple fish in this little area. So we came and tried it out. We've got to run a lot of new water and stuff we've got hit in practice just because we didn't have that good of practice. So we're just going to go fishing today and fish what looks good, what we feel like can be good. Just let the Lord tell us what to do. Little. Sure. Yeah. Sure. He's little. She'll be number two though. Number two. Gotta get rid of that one. As the top ranked team in the nation boxes up its second keeper bass, we check in on Wyatt Pierman and Ridge Rutledge from third ranked Campbellsville University. Yeah, go. Huh? Got him. I should. You sure? Uh, maybe. It's a little bit better than what I thought he was. The king. Hey now. It's not like that man. I'm gonna go ahead and tag him away. Hands are cold this morning. Number one. Beautiful. Like Hartwell squad like that. I think I'm gonna get bigger than this though. Yeah, we uh been going around the outer edges, huh? And we finally got on top of it and Ridge plucked one off this little little stump brush it setting up top on here. That's gonna be a The morning bite is off to a hot start early on as teams are consistently getting bites. Another team from Carson Newman University is looking to start off the event strong here on day one. Let's check in with Ben Coley and Hayden Gaddis. Uh, we've just been running a bunch of these uh, points where a bunch of these herring will spawn, so these fish have been up real shallow. We've just been using a variety of baits. Uh, Join and swim bait. Yeah, join and uh, swim bait, soft jerk bait, spinner baits, a little bit of everything. We caught some on an eco worm too. It's been a really fun day, uh, just catching fish in all kinds of different ways. We just need to upgrade and catch a, catch a couple good ones. We've got a bunch of three pounders and we really need uh, Five some pounder. three and a half or some fours or something to upgrade. Good one. Yeah. Lake Hartwell is showing out today as anglers continue to catch quality fish. 
And as the day warms up, so too will the fishing. Stay tuned following this quick break to see more big time fish catching action. On the pole, bro. <laughs> hey. Welcome back to day one coverage of the Hartwell Slam from Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina. We go now to 25th ranked Erskine College, who's hooked up with a quality bass. I know, I couldn't get the button pressed. <laughs> I'll leave that one. I have bottle. Should. From Erskine College, we go back to check in on Wyatt and Ridge from third ranked Campbellsville University. Oh yeah, we're kind of on these mid-range points and two of them got a little bit of like inch or two tall grass. And I think these spots are just getting off bed and they're just coming out here to feed up and there's been some suspended, some on stumps. It seems like if we can get around a stump, it's almost like they're spawning on them a little bit. But uh, just whatever little piece of cover, little suspended fish, you know, some are up high floating, some are tucked really tight to the bottom, kind of hard to see, but any little thing we can cast on that relate to it without here swimming around. Good one. Oh, I'm about to kick that rod right in. After landing their fourth keeper, the duo decided to move up shallow in search of a spawning bass to fill out their limit. Oh, she spit off the bay. Come on, you sucker. There she goes. That's number five. We gotta make her mad. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go check some more. Mixed bag action. Can't wait to throw that glide out or just keep rocking. We had a strong start to the morning, but we didn't fish clean. Um, I feel like we'd have more weight than we got right now. And uh, once that sun got up, the spotted bass deal kind of got tough. So we went searching and a few of them was gone. We finally got back on one and filled out a limit, but we only got about 11 pounds. So we're going to need to make some big key upgrades in the next few hours at the end of the day to really hop up there. I'd like to have about 15 pounds. So we're going to get some, you know, better quality fish in the boat and uh, keep on rocking. So we got some work to do. Conditions are setting up well for anglers to see bass on beds. Anglers from 12th ranked McKendry University are looking to find success up shallow this afternoon. Our day's just been pretty slow going in. Uh, our bites really turned on in the afternoon, picking up the big bait, the glide bait. It's kind of been the key to most of our success throughout practice, catching lots of three and a half plus pound fish. And I think that sun just needs to get over the top of some trees to warm up a couple more of our banks. And I think it'll start heating up here soon. Yeah, just flip it. Get it in. Well, that's about time. <laughs> it is about time. All right, that's it. Finally got him. Didn't want to cooperate, but just had to find the sweet spot of where he wanted to eat it. Sweet. Patience is key. Reading the fish, 
seeing what kind of mood they're in. You can find, like there, we thought his bed was to the left of where it was actually at. So we were just hitting the edge of it and he'd come over and swipe at it every occasionally. But when we finally locked down the bed, he hooked him once and lost him. I flipped back in there and caught him. So it's just about finding exactly where they want it. And once you find that, it's almost, if they're locked like he was, you'll get them most, almost always. Throw in a white bait to where you can see it, especially on a deeper bed like that. We couldn't actually see the bed, but we could see our bait. And I saw him swipe on it, my bait disappeared, so I, I knew I had him. Lake Hartwell is showing just how quality of a fishery and diverse it can be. From watching bedding bass up shallow, we go out to a main lake point where the University of South Carolina is looking to upgrade here late on day one. So it's been going pretty decent. We got off to a slow start. We tried to um, make the herring spawn bite work for us and it took us a little bit to, to figure out, at least for us, I'm not sure how these other guys are doing, but they really weren't eating those you know, stereotypical herring baits like a fluke, a magic swimmer, or anything like that. So we uh, we started dragging. I caught our first fish probably about eight o'clock on a shaky head. There he is. That's a better one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh boy. That is a, oh, she's big. Golly. Holy cow, that is a fat fish. <laughs> Good grief, I've never seen a belly like that before. Yeah, that's a first for me too. That's, hey, at least you saw the cast to catch on that one, man. I think you know where I'm going with that. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. Either that fish is full of eggs or full of herring. One or the other. And we've reached our final break in the show. Coming up next, we return to Green Pond Landing to see who can stake claim to the day one lead. Don't go away. I like how big it is. It's a great tournament. Like there's plenty of fish. There's fish from the one end to the dam. Uh, there's a little bit of everything. Whatever you want to go do, whatever you want to throw, you can catch up on it. So it's just diverse. The playing field for this weekend's event is Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina. The Hartwell Slam marks the second time the ACA has hosted a major event here. This place is, is, is really special for a variety of reasons. I mean, you know, our lake is special, Lake Hartwell, because, you know, it's, it's one of the, the uh, most recognized fisheries in the southeast. 962 miles of shoreline. It's more shoreline than the coast of California. It's 56,000 acres. It's a tremendous uh, fishery for, if you're fishing for numbers, largemouth, spotted bass. What I like to say, it's the perfect tournament lake. Back at Green Pond Landing, anglers are bringing their day's catch to the scales to see how they stack up against this elite field. Locks in at 1474-1509. New leaders right there, day one of the Hartwell Slam. We're gonna have a new leader right here, 1887. William Two and Braden Nichols from 8th ranked LSU Shreveport take the lead early here on day one of the Hartwell Slam. Well, it started this morning. We um we caught a five and a four off our first spot in the first 20 minutes. And then um, just after that, we just got a limit pretty fast and we just cold throughout the day. A big wave of uh, post-spawn females moved up on our heron spots and uh, we hit them in the head. Kaysen and Braden, Carson Newman, we're ready for you. You're gonna have five in the bag. Number one ranked team in that Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Goes 1956, I'm gonna have to check first place. You wanna try a big bass? They're gonna try a big fish. I'll have to see, yeah, that's gonna take over first place right there, new leaders. With a limit of bass going 19.56 pounds, Kaysen Price and Braden Ruckman from number one ranked Carson Newman University take the day one lead at the Hartwell Slam. The duo is being chased closely by three teams all within a pound of that top spot. Price and Ruckman's day one limit has them in position to take a shot at bringing home the victory 
as well as securing valuable points for their team towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. It started cold, like I was cold. It was really cold and we were just like, all these fish are, are gonna move off. And we put up on the first bed fish and they both were there and we caught both of them. And, just, and that just kind of set the tone of the day. I think uh, when we all work together and we know that we have a chance to win it and you know, take home the big trophy at the end, I think we all want it just as much as one another. And you know, we all work together. We spend as much time as we can together, whether we're at tournaments or we're back at campus. And you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's our brothers, you know. It's more than a team, it's, it's, it's family. It's more than a team, it is family. And, you know, we just, That's everywhere we go, we try and work together. And with that, we conclude our day one coverage of the Hartwell Slam from Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina. On the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we'll return to Green Pond Landing in Lake Hartwell for day two of tournament competition and to crown a winner. This has been a Careco TV production.